I'm, I'm holding this camera in such an awkward angle. This has just pissed me off. I wasn't even planning to make this video today. This has pissed me off. So I was making a video about why self improvement was gonna, uh, how why self improvement is going to change your life. That's the title of the video, I believe. Uh, for good. And I googled. I was interested to see what other people think about self improvement, not just the people who are on it. And like Google, I I, I googled it. Google says. Uh, we can make our lives easier through certain practices and rituals. That's all well and good. Self-improvement, though, implies we are in need of more, of more, better, higher, and stronger. On a deeper level, however, there is no improvement needed to be done. Why I quit self-improvement and why it's pointless. Why do so many people look down on self-improvement? What the people... Oh, that's Reddit. Uh, five problems with the self-help industry. Why self-improvement is futile. The backlash of society's obsession with self-improvement. The problem with constant self-improvement. How Americans really feel. And that's why some thoughts on becoming self-actualized. Um... Self-improvement might sound healthy, but there's... I'm going to guess it says there's a dark side because it says, but there's a dot, dot, dot. Uh, why do we even need self... Uh, why do we need self-improvement anyway? I imagine that's for it. This pisses me off more than anything. The fact that Google, the one place where most kids have access to... This is sickening. The one place that most kids, young kids, have access to... And it's the first thing that comes up, 0 0.41 seconds it took for it to say, on a deeper level, there's no improvement needed to be done. So it literally is telling young kids or anyone who wants to be better and is done suffering, done being helpless, just to not even start. Imagine this is you. Imagine that you imagine yourself when you're in that dark place. If you're on self improvement now, imagine yourself when you're in that dark place and you're at that horrible moment just before. Because I believe every single person goes through a really dark stage before they actually go on to self improvement. Imagine you were in that dark stage and someone turned around, you asked for someone for help, and they turned around and said, Nah, don't do it. It's pointless. There's no improvement needed to be done. It's sickening. This is the problem with Google and most of the Western world nowadays is that it wants you to be weak. You can tell me I'm wrong. You can tell me that my words are stupid, but it's the truth. The society nowadays wants you to be weak. And I can promise you now there is so much better, so much more out there than what you're currently living. There's so much more you can achieve if you put your mind to it. You can be stronger. You can be more capable of fighting. You can be stronger, uh, like mentally stronger. You can be smarter. You can be more articulated in your speech. You can be more confident when you're approaching women. You can get every single woman and more that you want. Not that they're trophies, but I'm just saying you have the capability to do that. There are things you can do that are completely in your control to change every single environment and problem you feel like you have. Now, do I feel like there are some dark sides of self-improvement? A hundred percent. But at the same time, you need to be very aware that these are scams. Like, genuinely, this is just trying to keep you weak in a box. Self-improvement is futile. Imagine hearing this as a young kid. Imagine you had a kid and you're being told this. They, these are what they're teaching in school. Self-improvement is futile. It's pointless. They just want you to be another mindless robot in the system, bro. This is disgusting and actually sickening. Like, genuinely makes me feel sick to my stomach. Young kids are being told not to go on self-improvement. Now, I'm not this self-obsessed person who thinks, oh my God, if you don't want self-improvement, you're going to die and never amount to anything. 
trying to amount to something is self-improvement in itself. So if you want something bigger than the situation you're in now, you're already on self-improvement, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so if you're trying to reach a goal, maybe you want to progress in, in a career or maybe you want better finances or maybe you want a different career, that in itself is self-improvement because you you think that it's going to be better. You wouldn't go to something if you know it's worse. You're only going because you think it's better and that's what you want. And if you want something, you're working towards it, which means you're hard working, which means you're on self-improvement. <laughs> It's not that difficult. This is absolutely ridiculous, though. But if you're on self-improvement, you're a young man on self-improvement, or thinking about going on self-improvement, think no further. I'm going to help you make your choice. Let me tell you how you're going to make your choice now, actually. You have two choices here. Self-improvement or no self-improvement. Let me give you what both of those realities look like. So the self-improvement, I'll give you the self-improvement first one, uh, one first, sorry. So the self-improvement one first, self-improvement. You look at the life you're in now, you're unhappy, you're miserable. Maybe you have one to zero friends, you're extremely lonely. You have no attraction for women. Maybe you're fat, overweight, you watch porn. You're addicted to your phone, to your porn, and instant gratification activities. You feel empty inside, completely lonely, and like nothing is ever going to change. You think life is going to be like this for the rest of your life. And you see that life, and you become scared. You know so much better is out there for you. You can go so much further and you see that and you see these people. Maybe you even have some bad connotations of them. Maybe you, maybe you even think badly of them. You think these are horrible people, but you're still interested in them. Maybe you see Elon Musk and you think, oh, he's rich, bad person. Personally, I don't think that. But if that's you and you're at least interested, actually take a look into their life understand what he's about so you see this and you think you know what actually what's Elon Musk he's just a person yes he may be very smart but if you look at the likes of other people such as Andrew Tate Tristan Tate Hamza uh, Jack Denmo Jack all of the people that come to mind, Bill Gates, um, The Rock, Kevin Hart, all these people just come to my mind off the top of my head. But you see these people and you think, well, not to be rude, but what's so special about these people? Who's to say they all came from bad backgrounds and really tough times? Who's to say I couldn't too? And you get interested and you slowly but surely start finding out more. You're a lot better than the environment you've been put in a lot better than the way your environment has meant has made you feel and you're meant for a lot more which 99 point as you know not even 99.9 100 percent of you are built for more than what you currently have now let me give you the alternative to that so i'm just going to go back to you feel depressed lonely Completely empty inside. No meaning, purpose, no mission. You're weak. You get bullied. You can't stand up for yourself. You're extremely anxious. You see that life that's better for you. You see the life you want and you watch other people live it for the rest of your life until you die. Nobody comes to your funeral. Nobody checks up on you. And you choose to do nothing. You get bullied by life. Thrown around, maybe even homeless. You get attacked, but you can't do anything. You get robbed, and you can't do anything. That girl you've had a crush on for the rest of your life. Sorry, for the whole of your life. That really hot girl that you've always wanted. Do you think she would be the mother of your children? She's getting fucked by another man. 
And you have to watch that. Sit there knowing that that's happening. Knowing that she's gone with this guy who's actually chasing more. Who's bigger, better and stronger in every way possible. But you choose to do nothing. You sit there and you do nothing. And live that for the rest of your life. Every day until you die. Struggling in fear, swallowed, engulfed in regret, hoping, wishing someone will come to save you. Now, self improvement is the choice between the two. You have the power to make the choice today. No matter how old you are, no matter what your finance, no, or sorry, no matter what your financial situation is, no matter where you live, no matter your background, no matter gender, ethnicity or whatever, you have the choice now to be stronger and better than you could ever imagine. You could be that guy. You could be him, that person you've always dreamed of. That guy you've always thought, man, I'd love to be him. You could be him. And it all comes down to a choice. Now, there's a lot of things in life you have zero control over. Finances. You don't have much control over that. Your job, where you're born, how you're born, your family, the weather, all sorts. You don't have any control over that. But there's one thing you will always have control over. And that is your choices. I'm going to leave you and let you just think about that as you will. Which choice are you going to make today? I'll see you later.